alaikum and hi everyone. Welcome to the Brainy Hub. Today we are going to learn about food. Food is an important part of our lives. Food gives us energy. We need food to grow and be healthy. We also need food to repair damaged cells. What is a balanced diet? Eating food with the right amount of nutrients is called a balanced diet. A balanced diet consists of carbohydrates, vitamins and minerals, proteins and fats. Carbohydrates are the largest portion of the food that we eat. These are the main energy giving foods. Foods like sweets, buns, pastries, waffles, Breads, and cereals like rice are all carbohydrates. Vitamins and minerals are need to keep our bones and skin healthy. They help, they help wounds to heal. They also prevent infections. Foods like strawberry, oranges, bell peppers, egg, eggplant, carrot, cabbage, and pumpkin are some examples of vitamins and minerals. Fats give you energy and they help to keep the body warm. We only need a little fast to keep us healthy. Foods like potato fries, cake, meat, oil, chocolate are examples of fats. Proteins help us to build up and make us grow. They also repair damage and replace our dead cells. Food like meat, peas and pulses like white beans, green gram, dal, nuts, and egg are examples of proteins. Also need water to live. The average amount is two to three liters per day. Germs in food, eating fresh vegetables and foods that have not been washed may also lead to illness. Unwashed vegetables may have germs on them and may be covered with chemical insecticides and pesticides. Food is left open for some time. Germs such as bacteria and fungi can fall on it and begin to breed in the food. Flies carry germs on their feet. They spray food with their saliva. How can we keep the food free of germs? We must wash the vegetables and fruits before we eat. Do you know that 
soaking the fruits and vegetables in water by adding a spoon of salt and turmeric for 15 to 20 minutes remove all the chemicals insecticides and pesticides from them and it also kills the germs some foods can be kept from going bad by the use of chemicals called preservatives milk can be preserved for a while by a process called pasteurization to pasteurize milk, it is heated to 60 degrees Celsius and then cooled quickly. If you find our video useful, please follow us on YouTube, Instagram and Facebook. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Bye!